Uh, what if you're in a cycle of not terrible experiences? Mm. Is it still a karma thing? Uh, well, desire, yes. If we take my definition of karma and you see that the experiences you're having is from programs or desires, then if you're having a fabulous cycle, I mean, every single boss you've ever had was absolutely amazing. Yeah, because my last life, I was really good. No, it's because you're having that desire of having amazing bosses. Wait a minute. What? Can't blame the bad stuff on it and not let the good stuff be part of it. That's part of the whole deal. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get out of the cycle of karma, even if we're the benefit, it's on the beneficial Where side? Why would you want to? It's when you have a choice, right? That's when you have a choice. Well, I'm giving well, you the information to, for you to make a choice from a perspective of full knowledge. I know. You see the cycles that are positive and you want to keep them. Keep them. Right? So you see the cycles that are negative and you want to get out of them, you can get out of them. But once you realize that the cycles that are positive come from your experience of what you want to experience and also your belief systems, then you're empowered to continue having those cycles for as long as you want. Right. So here's the natural the natural thing based on what I've experienced most people. Mm -hmm. So when they learn something like karma is a cycle that they've voluntarily put in place, mm -hmm. they want to get rid of it. And all karmic ties and all karmic everything's right. Mm -hmm. Even though in a large part of their life, that's probably helping them stay in a cycle of desire of wonderful experiences that they want to keep. Mm -hmm. But they want to drop all of those things because somehow the idea that it's a thing that's voluntary makes it something to get rid of. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. yeah. So it's yeah, I've okay. seen that. I've yeah. seen that too. It's like, oh, yeah. well, I'm going to drop all karmas. Good, bad, yeah. ugly, nice, I've seen that beautiful, with, with programs terrible. as well. Yeah. Okay, or limitations. Yeah. Limitations. Yeah. I'll get all Everything. of them. All yeah. of them. All of them. Yeah. But that's clearly not what you're saying. No. But it's easy to get carried away with this. And think that all programs are bad, all karma thing, beliefs, desires for experience are bad. All limitations are all bad. All limitations are bad. We yeah, should have none, and et cetera, et cetera. But that's yeah. not what you're saying. No, that's okay. not what I'm saying. No. What you're saying is be consciously choice, choosing these things or be consciously aware that these are the way things work. Yeah, so you so can be conscious in choosing them. You can be conscious in choosing because, uh, because why? Why do we want to be conscious in using them? Why? Why? Why is it necessary? Uh, the split right now. Because of the split right yes. now, yeah. Uh, when we passively are passengers of program cycles and other people's choices, we're in a power over other situation and very infantile situation, basically. And by becoming aware, conscious, and making conscious decisions about the cycles or programs or limitations that we keep, we're basically saying we grew up. We're now adults, right? As an adult, it's a very different experience. And the new paradigm, the light side of the new paradigm, the, the new paradigm, which is pure light, needs adults. Mm 